Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to train a LoRa on an awesome AI platform called Replicate. The reason that I want to train a LoRa is when I'm done, I will be able to generate an image that looks just like me anytime I want by simply typing in a text prompt. Replicate is a platform, but it's more like a playground where you can run AI models. You can think of it like the AI app store, but for AI models. Here are some of the things that you can do on Replicate. You can generate images, generate videos, restore, caption, fine tune models, generate speech, generate music, generate text. And when you try one of these, this is a model. That is all that the models are referring to. In this tutorial, we are training a LoRa. LoRa stands for Low Rank Adaptation. You might also hear it referred to or in connection with trained weights. To train the LoRa, I'm going to upload images of myself. The images of myself are the data that the model is studying and learning from. So it's basically it's going to analyze everything about my look, my expressions, my style, and it's going to build this tiny little model inside of a bigger model. You can think of it like a filter on Instagram. Well, when I generate an image, if I choose my LoRa, it is gonna put the likeness of me because it's already trained on exactly everything about me and what I look like. The Replicate platform itself is free to use. However, you must put a credit card on file as you will be charged to use the models and they do vary per model. You only pay for what you use on Replicate. When you are testing a model on Replicate, you'll always see the pricing. So this one is $3 per thousand output images or 333 images for a dollar. To get started using Replicate, open a web browser, go to replicate.com, go to the top right corner, click on try for free. In order to sign in to Replicate, you must do so with a GitHub account. If you do not have a GitHub account already, just go to github.com and create a free account. And go back to Replicate, sign in with GitHub. I'm already signed into GitHub, so all I need to do is just authorize Replicate. Fill out the little form, click on View Dashboard. If you just want to check out what is on Replicate and just have a look around, the best way to do that, just click on the word Explore in the top menu. If you want to check one out, you just click you can start testing out this model. One of my favorite things about Replicate though, it is incredibly well organized. If you go below these models, I think this is just amazing. You can see, I want to. So it's got all of these different tasks that the model can do all neatly organized. So if you know that you wanna transcribe speech or edit images, you just click and it's going to compile all of the most popular or all the recommended models that you can try that does that specific task. Now it is time to train the model. I'm gonna to go to the dashboard first and set up billing. So I'll click dashboard, I'll click on add payment method and just enter your payment method here. Now that I'm all set with billing, I'm gonna click on dashboard again. I'm gonna go up here to these tabs and I'm gonna click on trainings. Before you can train the LoRa, you must prepare a folder of images of yourself. That is the training data. And a minimum of 10 images is required. You can use a variety of photos of yourself. So they don't have to be from the same photo shoot with the exact same lighting. And in fact, having some variety is probably gonna give better results. For this tutorial, all I did, I put my iPhone on a tripod, I stood in front of my lighting that I use for videos. I also stood in front of a window to give it some variety of lighting. And I took pictures of myself in various poses. Sometimes I was looking at the camera. Sometimes I was smiling. I made funny faces. I looked to the side. I looked up. I looked down. I also threw in some random profile pics. Just basically anything that had a clear view of my face just to give it some variety. Now I cropped everything as a square or a one to one aspect ratio, but you can have mixed aspect ratios. That is not important. They don't have to be a certain size or dimension and it doesn't matter how you label them. So on a Mac, I'm just gonna right click on the folder and choose compress. And that is gonna create a .zip file. And I'll upload this .zip. 
So back on Replicate. Remember, we're on the Trainings tab of the dashboard. I'm just gonna click on this Learn More on this banner for FastFlux Trainer. And there is a README file. So I do recommend that you go through this to read this. This is gonna give you some more information. But I'll go back to Train and scroll down and just start filling out this form. First, we need to select a destination. Likely, if you're just doing it for the first time, there's nothing there. So what you need to do is click on Create New Model and you're just gonna create a destination name. This is for your reference. I'm just gonna call it AI Handyman. I'll put dash Laura. I'm just gonna put V1. So if I create different versions or different models, I'll know that this is the first version. I'm gonna keep it public. Next, we need to upload the zip file. So I'll just click, click, select the zip file, click open to upload and then trigger word. This should be a made up trigger word, something that tells whatever model you're using the LoRa with, when they see that trigger word, they know that you want it to pull up or reference the LoRa. So think of something that you'll remember, but maybe it's not such a common word that you use all the time when you're typing. For me, I'm coming up with the name MKUPY. That is my name, missing a few letters. This was a childhood name that a friend called me and I always remembered it, Mick Boopy. Okay, for the Laura type, we're gonna keep it on the default subject. You wanna keep it on subject if you're training the Laura on a person or maybe your animal or another object. I'm not going to do anything in this advanced section here. I'm just gonna click on create training or use the keyboard shortcut command enter. Okay, so the training of the LoRa itself was a success. I don't know what the results are yet, so that's still up in the air. You can see here, we used the model Fast Flux Trainer, and I have to say, it was super fast. So that's the model we used, and this is the train version. That's got my kind of branding on it. Because I had set up a new account and put in a new credit card, as soon as the training completed, I got two emails right away from Replicate just giving me a heads up that because it was a new credit card on file, they charged the card early in the amount of $1 just to make sure that the credit card or the payment was valid. And then I got another email with the receipt to test it out. I'm just gonna go to the train version. This is the model. We're gonna enter a prompt and make sure to use the trigger word. I'm just gonna type in a prompt. There's the trigger word, it's highlighted. Now you can do some other things here. I'm just gonna change the aspect ratio. I'm gonna do a 16 by nine. So why just like I would do uh, for YouTube and keep everything else the same down here. I'm just gonna click run or command enter the same way we did with the training. And let's see what we get for the output. Well, I do like the overall image, but it's probably not the best example to decide if it actually looks like me, but it did follow the prompt of Mick Goopy painting a colorful landscape on an easel near a white lighthouse overlooking the ocean in Nantucket. Let's try another one. Paste it in. I've got Mick Goopy as the trigger word. I'm gonna click Command Enter and let's see what we get. Now I did not test this in advance, so I really had no idea what to expect here. I'm seeing this for the first time with you and I have to say, AI truly is mind boggling. I would have liked a bigger hat, but that definitely looks like me. It looks like a photo of me painting in Nantucket, all from a text prompt. Now that I have my own little train model on Replicate, and you can easily create your own train model that looks just like you, I just need to type in a text prompt, use my trigger word, and I can generate images that look like me in any situation. And I'm going to put it to the test in the next tutorial and generate YouTube thumbnails, which is the main inspiration or the reason why I wanted to do this in the first place. So I could easily create YouTube thumbnails with me on the thumbnail without having to use a camera. I can simply type in a text prompt, generate an image of me in any situation and put it on a YouTube thumbnail. Have fun with Replicate. It is an awesome AI tool. I thank you for joining me today. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.